Crystallizing Public Opinion, Complete and Original Edition, written by Edward Bernays, is a foundational text in the field of public relations, first published in 1923. Bernays, often referred to as the father of public relations, explores the mechanisms and techniques for shaping and directing public opinion. The book begins by establishing the importance of public opinion in the modern world, stating that the way masses think and feel about a product, person, organization, or idea can significantly impact its success or failure. Bernays defines public relations as a management function that helps organizations adapt themselves to their public's expectations and needs. Bernays emphasizes the significance of understanding the psychology of the public and the ways in which crowds think and make decisions. He outlines the concept that individuals are highly susceptible to suggestion and are influenced by their environment, leaders, and societal norms. The book underscores the fact that public opinion is not random, but can be managed and guided through careful planning and strategy. The author describes the role of the Council on Public Relations, a professional who uses their knowledge of interests and principles to guide and shape public opinion. This council works by researching and understanding the conditions and the psychology of the public, aiming to align the actions of the client with the interests and expectations of the public. Bernays discusses the techniques used to communicate with and influence the public, which include crafting messages that resonate with the public's underlying beliefs and values. He highlights the use of print media like newspapers and magazines as traditional channels of communication but also acknowledges the potential of emerging media platforms. Throughout the text, Bernays draws on examples from his own experiences, as well as historical case studies, to illustrate the principles and methods of effective public relations. He covers the use of symbols and events to create associations and the deployment of propaganda, in its broader sense, as a tool for disseminating ideas and fostering a desired public response. Bernays maintains that transparency and ethics are key in the practice of public relations. While the manipulation of public opinion is possible, he advocates for it to be done with the public's best interests in mind, affirming that manipulation for manipulation's sake or without ethical consideration is detrimental and unsustainable. The book also delves into the organization of chaos, which suggests that in times of confusion or disorder, the public looks for leadership and solutions. The Public Relations Council can provide such direction by imposing order and fostering understanding through strategic communication. One of the most important concepts introduced by Bernays is the engineering of consent. This is the idea that by understanding the motivations and psychological makeup of the public, it is possible to guide and shape public opinion. Bernays argues that democracy itself depends on the ability to influence public opinion in ways that are conducive to the public good. In considering the impact of public relations practices, Bernays reflects on the broader societal implications, including the relationship between businesses and the general public. He suggests that by listening to the public and responsibly addressing their concerns, businesses can achieve not only commercial success, but also contribute positively to society. Towards the conclusion, Bernays underscores the inevitability and necessity of shaping public opinion in a complex, modern society. He sees the work of public relations practitioners as crucial to helping individuals and organizations navigate the public landscape, making informed decisions, and fostering a symbiotic relationship between the public and the entities seeking to engage with them. In Crystallizing Public Opinion, Bernays lays the foundation for the modern practice of public relations. He presents a systematic approach to understanding and influencing public opinion, emphasizing the importance of ethics, research, and strategic communication. Bernays' theories and methods continue to influence public relations practices and remain a subject of study and discussion in the field. His book offers an early comprehension of the media's power in shaping thought and demonstrates how ideas can be spread and perceptions molded through effective public relations techniques. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.